Hello, I'm Yo Dead Guy, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on Ready or Not's PvP. So first things first, you're going to load up the game, and in the main menu, you're going to click on the computer screen. You're going to go to Versus, and you're going to pick which server is best for you. Once you get past the loading screen and find a game, whether it be a 1v1, a 2v2, or a full match of 5v5, You'll load into the game and you'll get to your loadout screen. I recommend using the scroll wheel to cycle through all your weapons, tactical devices, uh, armors, or helmets. If you're somehow playing this with a trackpad, you are a god. So in this loadout screen, you can change from light armor to heavy armor. You can change what type of mask or helmet you're wearing, uh, whether it's night vision, a gas mask, or up armoring. You can change what type of tactical devices you have, whether it's a Stinger, a Nine Bang, or CS Gas. You can select a gun and put on different attachments, different scopes. Uh, most guns have scopes. There are a couple that do not have any at the moment. Um, those are more towards the end of your primary class. You can also select less lethal guns, uh, the Beanbag Shotgun, the Pepperball Gun, and a taser. Uh, every character already has pepper spray, so you can also use that if you go full lethal and you decide that you want to arrest someone. As Alpha stands for the PvP build, there is only one map and one game mode. That game mode is King of the Hill. If you are unfamiliar with King of the Hill, uh, the game mode is basically everyone rushes the point and tries to capture the point and hold it for a specific amount of time. Uh, there's a little meter at the top that ticks left or right depending on who has control of the point. If the same amount of players are on the point for opposite teams, the tick marker does not move. With Ready or Not, there is another way to win though. You can arrest the whole entire other team. If you do that, you win the round. To arrest someone, you need to disorient them. To do that, you can use a number of different items. Or guns. You can use any of your throwable items, such as the Nine Bang, the Stinger, CS Gas, or a Flash Bang. You can taser them, you can pepper spray them, you can use a beanbag shotgun, or your pepper ball gun. Now, there are some exceptions because if they're using a gas mask, the CS Gas, the pepper ball gun, and the pepper spray are not going to be as effective. Once they are disoriented and they have their hand towards their face trying to protect themselves, you can walk up to them, press F to equip your cuffs, and then left click to arrest them. Just remember that once you arrest someone, the enemy team will know that they've been arrested and they will try to come and free their teammate. The other side of that is one of your teammates could accidentally on purpose shoot your prisoner and kill them. Now let me quickly go into some hotkeys so that way your key bindings are correct. Uh, J is to all chat, K is to team chat. If you press L, you can change what voice chat you're using. So you can choose between three, which are local, squad, and team. Obviously, R is to reload, but there are two different types of reloads. If you press R, your magazine goes back into your vest. If you double tap R, it's a quick reload, and the magazine drops to the floor. If you hold down three, you'll get an inventory wheel. With this inventory wheel, you can see how many magazines you have left for your gun, which magazines are filled. You can also scroll through all your different tactical devices. You can also go to the top left scroll wheel and get to a med kit where you can heal yourself and you can heal your teammate. And I've tested it. You can heal the enemy if you really want to. So before you can heal, you actually have to pass a damage threshold, which the game refers to it as breaking a bone. After passing this damage threshold, you might see some debuffs on your character. If you're shot in the leg too many times, you might be walking very slowly, or you might not even be able to run. If you're shot in the arms, your ADS might be off and your recoil might be very bad. After applying the medkit to your broken bones, uh, those debuffs should go away. Here's a question I get all the time. How do I change my loadout mid-game? If you press M, you'll bring up your loadout. Next, you can change it, do whatever you want to it. The thing is, you will have to die and respawn before you actually get the loadout you've chosen. Something I recommend that you do in the general tab of your options, you can see the shotgun reload. 
it should be set to default as one press equals one shell. I would change that to be one press equals all shells. So that way you reload all your shells instead of just one at a time per click of the R key. These are just some of the main ones that I've been asked a bunch about. Um, one of the other ones that I get asked about a lot is how do you play PVE? Well, you go to your Steam, go to your Ready or Not, right click it, go to Properties. Once you're in the Properties, go to the Beta tab and you should be able to do the drop down to see SP slash Co-op. You click that, you re-download the game, and then you can load up the PVE and play it. If you have any more questions, comments, concerns, or anything that you want to see in a video, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. You can reach me on my YouTube page here. You can reach me on Reddit. You can reach me on the Discords for Ready or Not. You can also reach me on Twitch. I stream Ready or Not most days. I'll leave a link in the description. As a reminder, everything that I talked about in this video was the alpha player versus player build for Ready or Not. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, everybody.